Carnival 2022, it's back. So let's react to this, man. Carnival, carnival, carnival. Notting Hill Carnival. It's as simple as this, man. This episode is gonna be a little bit of a survival guide, a little bit of my own experiences, what and what to do and what not to do, what to expect and what not to expect. Whether it's your first carnival or your 50th, this is the first carnival that's happened after a break. We have not had carnival for two summers now because of the big, ugly COVID-19 guy. But it's back now. And I want to highlight something. Usually carnival is every year, isn't it? And usually something that happens every year, your birthday, Christmas, you know how to act because it comes, you, it, you, uh, you anticipate it. You see with this carnival thing, people do not know how to act. So the fact that it ain't been on for two years, oh my days, listen to what I have to say to you in it. Yeah? Let's get over the first, the first potential risk that could happen to you in carnival. Getting lost. And when I, listen, <laughs> You need to understand. You see, if you're in a group of people in carnival and you lose your friends, just, just think about tomorrow. It's over. You ain't ever seeing that person again. Get to know the people that's around you. They are your new family. Hopefully they smell nice and they got some water and some snacks because you are on your own now. I cannot explain to you how true that is. I've walked into crowds with 15 men in carnival, feeling like the guy. I've walked out tail between my legs on my Jack Jones, looking homeless right now. If you got, and another thing, I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's, it's 2022. If you get lost, just call the brother. <laughs> if you got reception, if you have reception, try hearing a man over 30 million speakers. I can't hear you. You're just here. You're, you're, you're thinking, what tune's that? I can't even hear that tune. Man's listening to, he's in another rave. How do you get over there? These times, he is five meters from you. Because you're both in the sea of people, armpit, sweat, alcohol, all kind of certain man's eating jerk chicken, you got gravy on yourself right now. A man could get gravy on you, you look down. Oh my gosh, you're great. You look up, you're a stranger right now. You do not have no brethren ever again. Yeah? Don't get too sick. I'm a local boy. I'm from Northwest London. Carnival's in West London. So, man kind of know the carnival routes at like the back of my hand. I know where my friends will go. So if you're a, a carnival veteran, you might think cool, innit? I've lost the man them or the girl them, whatever. I know they're gonna go here. So let me just go there and they'll already be there. Or, they, you get me? They're coming, kind of thing. So yeah, getting lost, know what time it is. Um, do you have some kind of body system? You get me? Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I know the man them ain't gonna wanna do this, but like hold a man's hand or something. Put your hand on his shoulder, or so, do something. Cause you could get lost in there. And everyone's wearing the same clothes. Oh my God. That's another thing I want to tell you. You will think you're with your crowd. Yep, follow the Air Forces, follow the Air Forces, follow the Air Forces. Oh my gosh, you are not Jamal. <laughs> you followed a next man. You're in the drum and bass region right now. You should have realized the, the, the Air Forces crease up and tear up because he's cutting shapes. Yeah, you can't see him again. The worst thing is now, the youth them wear masks now. If I, if I, listen, I don't even know if I'm going to carnival. I'm not going to lie to you. It's 2022. The last time I went to carnival was 2012 because of PTSD. And when I say the last time I, I went to carnival, brother, every single August to 20 something, I'm at my front door, Jamaica flag, whistle in my mouth. But I just have some kind of conversation with God. And he just says, son, don't go there. You can't go there. You ain't got pace like that no more. If somebody chases you, you do not have the same ankle as 011. You ain't gonna get out of there. Cause I went 012 and 012 we decided 
that we're going to go there with about 40 men on bikes. So we pulled up and the police said, hey, you, you ain't coming in right now. So we're now on the outskirts of Carnival on pedal bikes, age 20. We, we, look like, we look like criminals. We look like criminals. We're catching the attention of other criminals. It's long. Yeah? Getting stopped and searched by the same police every two seconds, just in case like we grew a knife or something. Yeah, and it's, it's, all, it's all bad. Yeah, and every year since then, I've said, I, I don't want to go. I don't want to do this. My ears hurt. I get a headache. My feet hurt. I lose the mandem. It's long. Yeah, it's long. I don't understand why people love it so much. I've, I've, I lost the love for it. But it is lovely. It's great. It's cultures, all kind of cultures, all kind of music. I used to love Carnival when I was younger, man. Carnival Sunday, the little, the little people one. Used to get my face painted follow the floats and that, watch all the gallon with their little feathers and all them thing there. But like I said, as I got older, I didn't follow the rules that I'm telling you right now. You get me? So I stopped enjoying it. Here's another rule. This one's for the man them. In Carnival, it's like a free rave that's outside. So it's mad. There's no queue. There's no bar. There's no... There's no nothing, so there's a lot of equality. So a lot of the man them that don't really get attention from the ladies them, you might get a little bit of attention in carnival. But let me tell you this, boys, and this is from, listen, this has happened to me so many times in carnival. A gal will dance with you all carnival, hold your hand, buy you water. You're basically married for the day. You've spent, she's been your wife. Then when everything's finished, the street lights are on, if my man's wrapping the wire right, he's, he's packing up. You're like, babes, you, might, you're not, you don't even want a number. Babes, what's your name? I've got a man. <laughs> Listen, now that's, that's not the worst thing. He's there, he's over there. Oi, Erica. So your name's Erica, shut up, don't say my name. Yeah, Erica, let's go. The man's six foot five. You were scared of the man three hours ago. You avoided eye contact with him. But if you remained eye contact, you would have seen he was holding Erica's hand. Yeah? Just because you dance with Gyal in carnival. Hear what I'm saying? She don't even know she's dancing with you right now. Remember I told you, I danced with the Gyal last time I went carnival. I didn't even know I was dancing with her. A man come up to me, grab up my thing. Why are you dancing with my Gyal? I said, brother, she was dancing. I was standing there. What do you mean there was nowhere to move? You had to say, you know what? I and out my little crazy. He said, you know what? I hear that. But no one can't move. I said, if I'm dancing with your gal, I'm dancing with all these men as well then. Because we're all these, we can't move, G. It's a stampede, cuz. Just because your gal has golden feathers on and uh, batties out, yeah, I'm, I'm lucky to be in this position. But that don't mean I paid to be here or wanted to be here. This is just, it was a mistake. This is spatial awareness and nobody has it. And that's why we're in this position. And that's what happened. Yeah, so it works the other way around as well, yeah? If you see a man dancing with your girl, he might not even be dancing with your girl. They're just waiting to get through the same gap. They can see, they're trying to go over there. But auntie and uncle's daggering on the fence with, with, with gold paint on their face. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. So not what I'm trying to do, all in all, to, to what I'm saying with that point, not everything is as it seems in carnival you understand don't let that go i'm not gonna get too controversial not everything is as it seems in carnival man them know what time it is yeah I'm not even gonna yeah but this is uh, summer holidays right now don't wanna yeah talk about what's your name and she's talking about oh i'm going into year 11 listen come out of there Know what you're doing, man, them. Nah, it's real. You think it's a joke out here? Listen, carnival etiquette is real. Yeah, man, them, man, them, man, them etiquette. But they spoke to one of my dolls in the, in the, in the, in the, in the back of the, the back of the studio. And he, and he reminded me of something, man. Sure, I ain't been there in 10 years, so I forgot about you, man. The grab up, grab up, grab up thing, man, yo. Everybody just grab up, grab up, grab up. Listen, mind who you're grabbing, first of all, innit? 
Cause like I said, Erica's man is right there. He's six foot five and he will kick you in your face. He does kickboxing, yeah? But second of all, just cause Erica's man's not there, don't think, Erica might not even have a man. Don't think you could grab her up, you know? She might know UFC. Or differently, say she knows nothing and she's just a nice little innocent girl, don't grab her up, man. Read the room. I know you're outside, but you still have to read the room. Know what time it is, yeah? We all understand body language. You understand? You wouldn't spud a man that doesn't want to spud you. So why are you grabbing up, a, grabbing up a gal that don't want to be near you? Don't be a where's my hug guy. Don't be that guy. Especially to strangers in the sweaty carnival because you stink, bro. And you might have COVID. So it's just bare, bare wrist, bare. The man there, let's have it right, bro. Most of, most of the, 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 these, these rules is, is for the man them. I ain't ever really been a girl. The gal them kind of, they smell better than us. They do better in carnival. The man them is who make carnival wrong. You understand? Another, another etiquette, man, another etiquette. And this is a word of advice. I ain't trying to mash up none of the people them business. Yeah? Know what you're doing when you're buying food in carnival. Know what you're doing when you're buying food in carnival. I went carnival 011. I bought some jerk chicken off these people and I bit into it and the chicken flew away, bro. It's the, mo it's the most uncooked. And you know how it is? You're in carnival, you're starving. And you know what got me? Bear man, you know how they did it? You know like how, they, how the scammers get you? Them gambling scammers. They'll have a man, he's pretending to gamble. He's not even really gambling. Oh yeah, it's underneath that cup. Yes, I won. These times he's my man's cousin who's doing the scam. So these times everyone's there eating the, yeah man the chicken mud, yo. Mud chicken, you forget it, you know, it's running low. I'm saying, what, chicken running low? You can't tell me chicken's running low. I do, so you see me, I got new ability when you say that. So I'm in the live with my chick, chi and like I said, chicken's one of them things. Chicken can look good on the, on the, the exterior. See when you bite into that and the chicken just, but, but, nah man. I don't wanna, yeah, so I just bit into the chicken. Chicken flew home into the sunset. cock a doodle doo thing, G. And like, like I said, know what you're doing, car. In carnival, there's a lot of people just trying to make a quick change. Food needs to be cooked with a certain amount of love, a certain amount of care, you understand? You should cook food like you're gonna eat it yourself. You understand? But these people, they're weeing around the corner doing doo doo, not wiping their hand, give you all the chicken. Yeah, here's the chicken, you want some chicken? With their germ up, germ up, and, and it's COVID-19. It's gonna be COVID-27 in there. I'm not gonna lie, lock it off, lock it off. That's what I'm saying. Don't even make it, who authorized this? Who, who said that carnival can be on again? You're a madman, you, you're clearly not coming. You ain't ever named that chicken that gave, that flew away. I'm telling man, know what you're doing in there. Like I said, know what you're doing. There might be a man selling you a juice. You're so thirsty right now. You're so thirsty, you see my man with a little ice bucket. Yes, he's got water. How much is the water? Seven pound. Are you crazy, rude boy? You stole the water, bro. It says no individual cells on the water. This is from a multi-pack, rude boy. And the multi-pack was four pound, but the one water is seven pound. Cause you know that it's a mess. Know what you're doing. No, this is another one for the mandem as well. Know where you're in carnival as well. Cause there's not a lot of toilets and this must have been 08. I was in, I just finished year 11. No, I would, that's a lie, that's a lie. I was in Jamaica 08, it must have been 09. Um, so I just finished my first year of college. I'm very antisocial by this point. Um, I've decided to go we against the surface. Little did I know, this surface was a door. A man has opened the door. I'm now weeing on a man's leg. And he was a big man. And you ain't ever been headlocked. Wow, you need a different kind of technique to not wet yourself then. Nah, big man ting. If, if I wasn't blessed with, 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 down there, trust me, it could have gone long. It could have, if my ting wasn't reaching certain angles, yo. But luckily I got out of there unscathed. My man, he had all over his crepes. He shouldn't have grabbed me. I know it was big, but I was with about 20 men. I was an anti-social so anti -social behavior child. You can't do that to me. In your leg. Yeah, and that's now. Nah. All jokes aside, no way. But another thing, what I'm saying, no way. One tap that I remember what, usually they just have like, just like a fence kind of thing. You know, like where they put barriers up in like, you see it in, um, 
in festivals. There'll be the portal potties and that, but you know how the man them are. Wherever we want the toilet to be, it's the toilet. So from three man somewhere and it's smelling like over there, that's the toilet right now, that's the corner. You get me? Know where you're You get me? Come mad thing ha listen. I, one time I was somewhere, I thought this is the corner. All I heard was, oh, everyone got excited for a tune. I'm while wow, everyone's going mad for the tune. Don't get it twisted, I've done my little show, the thing, and you get me, so they didn't know, like, but it's long. And listen, I know, I know what the gal them saying. We get sanit roll with the sanitizer. Roll with the sanitizer, man, then. Because you're sweating everywhere. You got your hand round the gal's shoulder right now, your thumb smelling like wee wee right now, really, boy. Yo, yo, hygiene is needed. Hi another hygiene, um, hygiene advice now. Again, man them, if you've been sweating all day, it is what it is. Do not then go and spray links on top of the sweat. Because you now smell like a madman. You smell a mess before, now you smell like a sweet mess. It's like the, the mess is sharp now. Before it's just, oh, okay, cool. Man, yeah, we're in carnival. The man them sweating. Then it's, well, when you put links over the sweat, it's like, who the hell hasn't bathed in nine days? That's all, all your, listen, don't do it, man them. Because you can tell. You can see your wet, your, 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 your t shirt armpits white. You get me with all the sweat running down. Listen, just don't do it, man. Them. Get your trim, hydrate, wear breathable gums, and don't stink. It's nowhere near as difficult as you lot make out. You understand? Carnival should be good, man. It, 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 it should be good. Let's keep it nice and peaceful. Leave your problems at home. You understand? My parents go to carnival. You get me? This is a warning. My dad will mash you up. You try to do any kind of anti-social behaviour, so he slap you in the face with his dreadlocks. And there's other uncles that's on the same thing. Let's not spoil carnival. The last carnival I went to, like I said, 2012, very, very mad. A lot of my friends got arrested. A lot of people got hurt. A lot of... Don't need that this year, man. We ain't had it for two years. I still don't know if I'm going to go or not. Usually I wait till about three or four o'clock and see like, if my bridging have survived and I'll come out. But, I don't know, man. But yeah, if you are going to Carnival this year, like I said, whether it's your first time or your 50th, please have fun. Please be safe. Please don't put deodorant on top of your sweaty armpit. Please don't grab up the gallem. Know what you're <laughs> against, because it could be a big man's door. Could have been a dog that came out. Bit off my Julie's. Wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been great. But yeah, how it reacts. Let me know what I should react to next. Let me know how your carnival went in the, in the comments because this is probably going to come out after. And yeah, like and subscribe.